Everybody does bomb here. And today, we are going to be discussing Thruster Pack versus Jet Pack. Now, first I want to talk about this gameplay a little bit because it's actually relevant to my argument. So, in this match, my goal was just to play extremely, extremely offensive. Just absolute balls to the walls, don't care what my shields are, try to go for the kill every single time. It doesn't matter, all I'm trying to do is just press on the enemy as hard as possible and until they just crumble and snap. Now this is much different to how I normally play because I usually play much more defensive and kind of hang back, sort of support style player that doesn't do this type of thing. So I just kind of wanted to mix it up and see how it went. So. Anyways, Thruster Pack versus Jet Pack. Now here's how I see it. Thruster Pack is basically a 100% defensive weapon. It doesn't allow you to get into advantageous positions because of the way it acts. It brings you out of third per or brings you into third person and then brings you back into first person so you don't really know exactly where you're aiming and then you also don't really move that far. Pretty much it starts and stops at dodging grenades, maybe some melees, and then maybe get out of the line of sight of somebody. That's what it is used for, it's a defensive, get away, out of this bad situation type of thing. Now the jetpack um, is more of an offensive thing, it allows you to get into really advantageous positions so that you can win those gunfights that you normally wouldn't have because you were in a bad spot. So it allows you to position yourself really strategically and just hop around the map like a madman. I mean, you're like, oh, I wish there was a ramp there. Well, I have jetpack, so it doesn't even matter if there's a ramp there. So I can just jetpack up. I don't even care. Like that. I just went ring two, ring three. Bam. In a second. So it helps out a lot for that stuff, uh, speeding up gameplay and just allowing yourself to be really aggressive and get into really good spots. So that's kind of how I see it is. Thruster Pack is mostly defensive and Jet Pack is mostly offensive. Now the Thruster Pack is very good at what it does, defense. The Jet Pack is very good at what it does, offense. But the difference about the Jet Pack and the Thruster, uh, that the Thruster Pack doesn't have is that the Jet Pack has that opposite thing to a slight degree like what you just saw there I could have easily got naded out behind the lift like nade could have been there I was one shot boom dead now with evade or right there's three grenades under my feet now with evade yeah I could have thrust her packed out of the way but with jetpack I did it just as effectively I took zero damage from it so there was really no difference between uh, in that situation having a thruster pack or having a jetpack it didn't matter I still took no damage and it was fine. So that's kind of how I see it is the jetpack, while not quite as effective in those defensive situations that you really need to get away, it could still have that potential to a certain degree. Whereas the thruster pack, it doesn't have that opposite side where it can be offensive to that same degree. Maybe to a very slight degree, but definitely not as much as the jetpack can. And also, I feel like Usually with the thruster pack a lot of times you kind of are gonna end up dying anyways I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel and also I love the jetpack just flying around the map So that's my argument is thruster is uh, jetpack wins jetpack allows you to fly around the map has kind of both sides of the coins Just a little more side of the coin than the other if that makes sense uh, So yeah, that's that's what I think now for the gameplay this really surprised me how well I was doing, um, and I've actually found some some really good stuff where getting attacked, I'll just jump up to up here. Now this is a vulnerable position, so I need to back out quick. So that's what you see me doing a lot. I'll I'll go to the very very top of the lift, but only for a short amount of time because everyone knows I'm there. Also, it's freaking regicide, so I have a little marker over my head, and that's the other thing is because I have a marker over my head. I'm constantly moving. You see me here, move, stopping for a little bit. But even if I don't know where anyone is, I'm still jumping around, moving around everywhere because I know those nades are just gonna be coming in like crazy. And also, uh, the bolt shot runs freaking rampant on this map. People love to go top mid and charge that thing up because you're basically anywhere on that whole top mid position, you're vulnerable to dying from the bolt shot. So. You'll see me doing that a lot, and then also I found really effective 
not on the rounded part, but the more flat part near the back, if you just jetpack over that, people never expect it. They expect you to kind of go onto this opening that I'm looking out right now. They'll expect you to jetpack up that. That's like a standard place that makes sense. But if you do something like that, but on the opposite side where that wall is, boom, you catch them off guard every time. They don't expect it. And also a lot of times you spawn right there. So, like, you haven't even been on the radar for long, so you can just totally throw them off guard anyways that's that's my uh, opinion on that is the jetpack wins thruster pack is good at what it does but the jetpack can also do it to a certain degree and uh also outclasses it in the offense by a mile so anyways that'll be it for this video if you like the video you can leave a like or a comment or you could subscribe because i post new halo videos every day anyways thank you for watching see you tomorrow bye